a very quick revisit to an x-ray that we have seen before and we used this x-ray as a learning tool to discuss how to tell the difference between these two artificial valves which one is aortic and which one is mitral and if you haven't seen that video this is aortic valve and this is mitral valve and the reason you can tell the difference is the direction of these small pins or hooks or whatever you want to call them they're always in the direction of flow of blood so for this valve the blood is flowing from this direction to this direction from left ventricle to aorta which goes in this direction similarly for this valve the blood is flowing from this direction to this direction this is mitral valve you can also see a metallic sternal sutures these sutures around the sternum which represent that patient has had open thoracic surgery and you can also guess the reason of that open thoracic surgery would have been the implantation of these two valves despite of the fact that this is an AP view anterior posterior view you can confidently say that patient has cardiomegaly usually the radiologist would not comment on cardiac size if the projection is an anterior posterior projection because the cardiac size looks artificially enlarged but in this case this is very very obvious that this patient has cardiomegaly there is a mediastinal widening here and you'll agree that the tracheal diameter is a bit bigger than normal even the main bronchi will look a bit bigger this is known as tracheomegaly tracheomegaly is the term and one of the common reasons for tracheomegaly is prolonged positive pressure ventilation in simple terms if patient has been on ventilator for a very long time they had endotracheal tube put in for a very long time they can end up with tracheomegaly the hemidiaphragms are not visible and I want to use this x-ray to discuss segmental atelectasis we have previously seen several examples of lobar collapses in which one lobe of lung is collapsed and there are very unique patterns that can help you diagnose a lobar collapse on a chest x-ray but none of those features are visible here yet patient has some lung tissue that is collapsed and this is segmental collapse here right upper lobe has three segments one of the segments is collapsed and there is some collapse consolidation here as well probably here and I would assume there is a little bit of pleural effusion here in, in left cross of any angle. Thank you very much.